Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys products that didn't work for me. They're fails, they're going in the trash. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do, and let's go ahead and get started. Or really quickly, if you have tried any of these products and they work for you and you like them, keep using them. I'm not saying that you shouldn't use these products. They just didn't work for me personally. I was very intrigued about this mascara after watching a YouTuber videos, a couple videos of hers actually. She used this mascara right here. It is the Milani um, Highly Rated Anti-Gravity Mascara. I after watching her use this mascara a couple times and she just saying how much she loves it, I was influenced to buy it. She says that this gives her lashes like the falsy look effect and I really wanted that and I tried it and it does give my lashes a really great effect. I don't know if they give my lashes a falsy look to them. They definitely separated my lashes out and gave me some volume and some length but for one thing i do not like the brush on this um, mascara it is that like rubbery silicone rubbery um spiky bristled brush that i just don't like in mascaras there are a tiny select few of mascaras like that that i like but most of the time it's not that way with me this mascara it looked great on the lashes but it flaked on me so terribly if i find a mascara and it flakes on me then it does not stay in my routine so unfortunately this mascara did not work for me i wanted to love it but it didn't so it's going in the trash another mascara that did not work for me is the mac mac stack mascara i wanted so badly to like this mascara it just clumped on my lashes so bad it's supposed to give great volume and buildable length like mega buildable length and it just not did not do that for me at all it just clumped on me so so bad and i kept using it because i wanted to like it so much because i've heard so many good things about it but it did not live up to the hype for me so it does have the um spiky very spiky rubber brush i do not like this brush in particular like i said there are select few brushes that have more of that rubbery spiky um brush it helps to grip onto the lashes but this one especially was super spiky and just kept poking me and i just i didn't like it i love brushes like the lash paradise mascara it's just the feathery bristled um big jumbo brush I just feel that it works better on my lashes. Um, these ones just, no, get rid of, throw it away. If it works for you, great. And I'm so happy for you, but it just didn't work for me. And I'm kind of sad about it. Next product that I was also influenced a little bit to get. So I was at Ulta, I was purchasing something else. And as I um, was talking to the um, lady at the cash register, um, she was talking to me, we were, I had purchased some lip products. Anyway, she talked to me about the new um, NYX liquid lipsticks and she it has a gloss op topper on it. And she was just like telling me so much about it, how much she likes it. It's long glassing. It doesn't, it doesn't feel dry on the lips. And she was like really selling me on this liquid lipstick. So the next time I went to Ulta, I did purchase it. It is from NYX. It is the Shine Loud um, lipstick. It has the liquid lipstick on one end and then the gloss topper on the other end. It was so drying on me and I know liquid lipsticks are going to have some point of dryness um, to them, but this one was so drying to my lips. And a lot of the time, companies that come out with products like this where, um, you know, they have the gloss topper with it, don't tend to work good on me. The color was not flattering on me and I love, so they have the Shine Loud and then the Line Loud. So the Line Loud is their lip liners and the Shine Loud is their liquid lipstick. I like the Line Loud lip liners. They're great, um, especially the shade of the liquid lipstick that I have here is Daring Damsel and I have the Daring Damsel lip liner. I love the lip liner, but when it comes to the liquid lipstick, it's a no-go for me. 
I just felt like the, the color was just awful looking first of all on me and it just started cracking in places and patchy looking and anyway it was not a good <laughs> lip day for me let's just say that um so I'm gonna pass on this it's gonna just get thrown away in the trash obviously um yeah next product is from Maybelline and this was I'm a couple of these products, the Max That Mascara and the this concealer, this is the Super Stay Active Wear Up to 30 Hour Concealer. These were both Allure Beauty winners. And so I bought a couple products that were Allure winners just because if they won an award, they have to be pretty good, right? I think the reason why this won an award because it was really good at covering up blemishes. First of all, it's hard to, I was at Walmart when I purchased this, it's hard to get the correct shade because they don't have like testers for you. So first of all, I bought the shade that's too light for me. I still tried it anyway and I still felt like it gave me no coverage on the under eyes. I tried it on blemishes, didn't even cover up a blemish. Obviously it's a really light color so it's not really going to cover up blemish to begin with but I thought the formula was really thin and so usually when you're looking for a formula to cover up blemishes you want something that's a little bit thicker and this was just thin for me. It didn't do anything for coverage so I just it wasn't my favorite. I never reached for this. I reached it for once and never again. <laughs> just did not give me any sort of coverage. All right, another Maybelline product that I do not like, and I know a lot of people love Maybelline. I used to love Maybelline. I used to wear Maybelline all the time when I was a teenager, but as I got, has gotten older and I really have dove deep into the makeup world, I just don't like Maybelline. This is their Instant Age Rewind Perfector 401 Glow Makeup. So you can use it as a primer, a concealer, a highlighter. You know, you can use it kind of as a light foundation if you wanted. I don't think it did any of that for me. For one thing, as a primer, I don't feel like it did anything special for my makeup. I don't feel like it even was, I could see it pop through, um, through my foundation. As a highlighter, it just didn't give me enough glow to where I felt like it's gonna stay in my routine. I know a lot of companies are coming out with products like this right now. Um, there's a lot of high-end companies that have their own version of this type of product, which I'm not ready to um, spend the big bucks yet for a product like that. I know everybody's raving about the e.l.f. liquid filter, which I want to get a hold of that one, but it's like, I can't get a hold of it anywhere. Well, eventually when I can, I will try the e.l.f. one, but this one was just, not for me. I'm not a huge fan of Maybelline. I'm not a huge fan of their complexion products. So this was uh, gonna go away. It's gonna, it's trash. This product is from Revolution, Makeup Revolution. This is their Eye Bright Illuminating Under Eye Concealer. This product, I don't think it's terrible. I just didn't like it for me. First of all, so let me, let me explain this. So this is apparently could be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Wand Contour thick thingy majig. First of all, I think the shade that I got is just completely wrong for me, but I was just trying to do my best to what the shades that were available to me at the store, but I just had a really hard time blending it out. And maybe I'm just not familiar with cream products like this, but I just wasn't a fan of it after using it once. I was just like, I don't even want to try it again. So not saying it was terrible. I just, I'm not going to ever use it again. It wasn't for me. The last two products. I was extremely hyped for these products when I got them. Um, I will leave the video link down below where I tried them, but it is the Hard Candy Eye Def Metallic Eyeshadows. I was so pumped for these. First of all, this lilac shade, looking at the bottle, like it's so pretty. And swatch, they're so pretty too, but they do not blend. You literally have to just pop them up on the eyes and just leave it. You can't blend it out with your finger, which is what I like to do with my liquid eyeshadows. It literally is you just take the wand that it, that, you know, it comes with and you just apply it and you have to leave it. If you start to blend it out, it gets patchy looking. Your finger picks up almost all the glitter. It just was a disappointment. I have so many better liquid eyeshadows than these ones. And I was so excited for this purple shade, but it did not it just did not live up to, you know, what I was hoping for. So gonna give these, you know, 
to the trash can. <laughs> the trash can can enjoy them. All right, guys, that is it for products that I did not like. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to be doing more of these types of videos as I try other products out and find out what works for me and what doesn't work for me. So stay tuned for that because you'll see more videos coming in the future whenever they do. I can't, I, I can't give you specifics because I don't know. <laughs> if you like this video, give it a thumbs up again. And if you want to be subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below and you'll be notified of future videos that I upload. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.